All right, so we're trying to find the power series expansion for the function f of x equals the natural log of the quantity 1 plus x squared. Now, they give you a really good hint to start this problem. Check out the derivative of our function. So look at f prime. So if we look at the derivative of the natural log of 1 plus x squared, using the chain rule in this problem here, we'll get 2x over 1 plus x squared. Um, now, a really good trick with a lot of power series, trying to find different power series, is trying to see if you can use um, some common power series uh, um, in the context of whatever your problem is. And if we look at what we got as our derivative, this is very similar to another power series, or very uh, similar to another common power series. And that's the one I've written over here. So 1 over 1 plus x is the alternating infinite series that I have here. Now, the reason why this is useful is that we can do just a little bit of manipulation on our form over here to get something very similar to this. Um, and that's what I've gone through and done here. Um, because if I take the uh, 2x to the outside, I have 1 over 1 plus x squared, which looks like all right, our power series over here with this x squared in place of x. So I can use this power series here to figure out or to replace um, 1 over 1 plus x squared. And notice here that I put the x squared in for x um, instead of just x. Working this out, factoring or uh, distributing the x through this entire infinite series, uh, we come up with this power series over here. All right, this is the power series expansion for the derivative. Uh, and if you hit this with the ratio test, you can see or you'll be able to determine that the uh, radius of convergence here is going to be absolute value of x less than 1. Now, we have a power series for the derivative. We need to go back to the original function, though, uh, which means that we're going to have to think about uh, integrating our power series here. So we can do that as long as our values of x that we're picking are satisfying or within the radius of convergence here. Um, and so that's the work that I've shown here. Um, so we're trying to integrate from 0 to x of our derivative, um, which now we're just putting the uh, variable t here. Um, plugging in what we found is our power series in through here, we're able to integrate this term wise, um, which means that we're just taking and applying the rule, uh, uh, power rule for integration. So I increase the uh, power by one, uh, which gives me a 2n plus two, and then I have to divide by that new power. And then just saying this with the fundamental theorem of calculus, all the terms wipe out if I plug in zero and I plug in, and I keep the stuff that's with the x, and then we result in our power series over here. Um, now there's a little bit of simplification that you can do here. Specifically, you can factor out a 2 out of the denominator, which is really nice because it simplifies our final power series down a bit. And I've also just factored out a 2 out of the numerator just to make it look a little, or a 2 out of the uh, power of x, just to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, and so we come up with our power series expansion for uh, f of x here. And again, just remember, like, a lot of these types of problems, you're trying to use common power series in the context of whatever it is you're looking at. So that might be 1 over 1 minus x, 1 over 1 plus x, uh, the power series for e to the x. Um, always keep those in your back pocket because you might be able to employ those at any given time. Um, and then finally, radius convergence here um, is still absolute value of x less than 1. 